How's it my Orchids and Fables friends? Dave here with another Orchid unboxing. I have some unbelievable orchids to show you. I actually cannot fathom that I managed to get my hands on these orchids, to be honest. So I have three orchids at the top of my wish list that I managed to get my hands on. So stay tuned if you want to see what's in this box. So the story behind this order, I was at a orchid society meeting about a week or so ago. My first one ever might I add. And there was this orchid called Macroclinium Aurora. It was a little tiny um, miniature orchid mounted, but it was absolutely amazing. And basically this orchid was purchased from a company called GNS and they said to us, watch out for these guys they have amazing orchids they have very interesting and intriguing orchids so the first thing i did that night was i went online and i looked at what they had on their site and lo and behold i could not believe my eyes so i placed an order for three things that were at the top of my wish list and let's see what's inside this box so I'm going to tell you the story behind each of these orchids and why they are at the top of my wish list. I'm so excited, I'm shaking. <laughs> oh gosh, I know exactly what this one is. So, I watched a documentary recently about this orchid. I'm sure many people will know when I say the name what this orchid is. It is a Florida orchid. It's called the ghost orchid. It grows in the wild in Florida. This is not taken from the wild. These are actually grown in culture. This is a seedling. So when I went on the website, I saw Dendrophylax lindenii and I almost <laughs> I almost fell off my chair. I asked him if he had the Dendrophylax lindenii. He didn't. He had the Dendrophylax salii. And so this is like the cousin of the orchid. They look almost identical. Salia is endemic to the Dominican Republic. Flower shape is almost identical to that of Dendrophylax lindenii, except that the lateral tendrils of the labellum are much longer and the flower color is more cream than white. But apart from putting the flowers side by side, I doubt the average person would know that they are different species. Doesn't look like much now, it just <laughs> it looks like roots attached to bark. But this is the family of the ghost orchid it is an absolutely epic species and a definite must-have i read up so much about these orchids when i looked at purchasing it and they say that uh, it's important that these orchids uh, are able to attach themselves properly to the mount so that when it comes to the dry winter's rest period they are still able to actually get moisture from the air while you are actually reducing the moisture for that period obviously that's to get it to flower it won't flower from this size it's obviously got a couple of years so i'm going to try and keep it moist as much as i can i intend to put it inside a humidity chamber and see how that does that's the dendrophylax salii i wonder what it's attached to it's a very interesting piece of bark it's attached to Know what this is wish me luck because these are notoriously difficult orchids to grow but i'm super excited to give that a try next we have i think i know what this one is wonder if any of you will recognize this one uh kind of looks like a vendacious type it is the dimophorcus loia <laughs> Uh, I'm sure many of you guys will know why this is such an unbelievable orchid. Nina from Ninja Orchids and the Care Collab gang actually did a care video for Demophocus Lowei, I think last week actually, so please check that out. I was taking lots of tips and notes along the way because obviously I knew this one was coming and I have a couple of ideas up my sleeve on how I'm going to care for this one as well and my specific plans. So really excited about this. The cool thing about this one is it actually sends out a flower spike with two different colored uh, blooms on i'll try and insert an image and the one's fragrant i think uh, the yellow one's fragrant it says so yellow and red flowers but just having two different colored flowers on the same flower spike that's epic so i had to get my hands on this one the dimophocus loei actually has a basil cake here via Now this one has been on my wish list for, I would say, almost four years. I actually have a website, I don't ever advertise it because it's just for my own personal thing, but oh, it's there. 
<laughs> it's a WordPress website. It's called Orchids and Fanboys, I think, dot WordPress or something like that. You'll find it if you Google it. And this one has been on that wish list for a very, very long time. Every time I see this one on Instagram, I bookmark the picture because I love them so much. I recently got a similar orchid to this because I didn't think we would ever get these in South Africa. So I'm really excited about this. It's a Cattleya type, as you can see. This is the Cattleya Glandier. So I am so excited to have this one. Again, I just love the blooms. I I'm starting to see a trend with myself and spotted orchids. <laughs> spotted orchids. I just, I just really love the flower. It's absolutely beautiful to me. So, so excited to have this. All of the orchids are in excellent condition. Wish me luck on my journey with these three orchids. And thanks for tuning in, guys.